We want somebody who stands out from the crowd. So if you've got the opportunity to get involved in extracurricular activities, if you've got the opportunity to gain experience, then take those opportunities and really, really make the most of them because it's those things that make your CV stand out and it's those things that will secure you an interview. Now the right person in my eyes is somebody who's passionate about motor vehicles. If you're not passionate about it, then it's not for you. So somebody who's tinkering at home at the moment with motorbikes, lawnmowers, cars, is somebody that we want to know about and also the employers want to know about. Since I was about 15, I've always worked in like Saturday jobs or just jobs after school through the week, and that gives you good like experience of how to deal with people in the workplace and doing stuff under pressure, especially. Um, so it's definitely helpful if you get a part-time job, and that sort of sets you up for a full-time job after education. I think it is important to to start work as early as you can in life even if it's only just a couple of hours a week, to get a sense of lots of things, a sense of self-worth, that you mean something to a small firm, uh, a, a family business or whatever, but also the money you then earn has more meaning to it. Organisational skills, obviously, I think you've got to be very customer oriented, professional as well as enthusiastic, um, and just have a keen eye to look after the guests to the the best. A passion for hospitality is, is an honest answer. If you have the passion for the industry, you're interested in making a guest's experience the very best, then that's really where we like to start from. Functional skills, English and maths, I really believe they're required across the board and that a, a sort of applies in every everyday life. People worry about qualifications a lot. Places will look for qualifications, but I think it's also a lot about experience in hospitality. I don't think qualifications indicate whether you're good with guests or whether you're good with the industry, really. It's always the, the, the best thing to keep up to date with all the different areas of music really because if you're a very good performer but you can't record your own songs be open-minded for everything that has to do with music because it will definitely contribute to their career at one point even if they don't see that point at that very moment but at one point that will they will just feel like all right that's so good that I know how to connect an audio interface to the computer and can just make a really quick recording open-mindedness is probably what I would most recommend. <laughs> your mathematical skills, you don't have to be good at maths to be an accountant, but it does help. If you like, you enjoy playing with numbers, if you enjoy working with numbers, it does help. I think above everything, enthusiasm and willing to do a job. You know, at the end of the day, you, you are here to work and you're here to learn and you're here to train. And if you're enthusiastic and have the same values as us in that you just get on with the job, basically, but you're here to learn lots of things and to, to learn off other people, just a huge enthusiasm for the job. We're looking at people, you know, highly motivated, want a bit of a challenge, want a bit of, you know, complete career change, that sort of thing. We're mainly like good people that you know, really want to change their lives and do well. Been in 18 and a half years, been all over the world. Good for, if you want to travel adventure, you know, that sort of thing, challenge, could go for it. The ability to talk to people and ask a million questions, you know, there's people who I've had you know, mentorship, I've been able to ask questions, I've been able to shadow them, go on workplaces with them and just see how the industry works. So yeah, self-awareness, clarity of vision and networking, the ability to talk to people. They always look for experience and if that person would be better suited for that job because they've had, let's say, experience in physios and you're applying for a physio role, then they might give it to somebody who hasn't got the best grades but has maybe let's say 200 hours experience. You just immerse yourself into all this work and um, it tends to go really quickly. You never know what you're going to get. You could get any query coming through that's ridiculously basic or you might get something that's a, an extremely complex situation for example, um, a far light between members of staff and that way you have to rely on your own communication skills to resolve things and your knowledge of policies and procedures. Try and do what you're good at, try and find out what you're good at and what you're good at you will like and what you like you'll be good at it. You've got to be yourself because it doesn't work if you're not.